Hey, y'all. We'll be reading Star Stuff, Carl Sagan and the Mysteries of the Cosmos by Stephanie Roth Sison. I hope this inspires you to shoot for the stars. Have a great weekend. Star Stuff, Carl Sagan and the Mysteries of the Cosmos by Stephanie Roth Sison. Imagination will often carry us to worlds that never were, but without it, we go nowhere. Carl Sagan. In the Milky Way galaxy, our sun. In a neighborhood of stars, on the third planet from our sun. In a big city, in a small apartment, lived a boy named Carl. Carl was curious about everything. He found the world around him astonishing. His imagination took him out of his neighborhood. Announcing the 1939 World's Fair. Come see the world of tomorrow. The World's Fair was like nothing Carl had ever seen before. There was a mechanical man. Wowee. And a time capsule filled with messages to the future. Carl thought about the stars hanging down like light bulbs on long black wires. What are they? In the morning, he set out to discover the answer. A book on stars, please. It was the wrong book. When she came back with the right book, Carl's heart beat faster with every page he turned. Our sun is a big ball of fiery gas held together by gravity. Nine planets, including Earth, orbit around it in our solar system. Each star is a sun. If you traveled into space for many years and then looked back at our sun, it would look dim like a star. Wowee. Carl read that many scientists suspected that other stars have planets circling them too. Carl was curious. He imagined what he would find if he could travel to the stars. He read stories written by people who imagined what life might be like on other planets. His favorite character, John Carter, could stand with his arms outstretched and wish himself to Mars. But nothing happened. Carl set out to learn more. He studied life and space and became Dr. Carl Sagan. Carl longed to know what other planets were really like. He worked with other scientists to send mechanical explorers to investigate the planets close to us. They took pictures and gathered data and sent them back to Earth. It gave Carl goosebumps to think about what he had learned about the stars, planets, and the beginnings of life. He wanted everyone to understand so that they could feel like a part of the stars as he did. So he went on television. The very matter that makes us up was generated long ago and far away in red giant stars. Wowee. The earth and everything living are made up of star stuff. The stars made the ingredients of life. Could those ingredients have resulted in life elsewhere too? Carl and his fellow scientists got ready to launch the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft on a grand tour of the outer solar system to gather more pictures and data. After that, they would be bound for the stars. A marvelous idea gripped Carl. A message from our world could be attached to each, spa each spaceship like a time capsule and taken beyond our stars. We thought it would be impolite not to say hello. The twin voyagers rocketed to space, carrying their friendly greeting. They traveled through our solar system and continued farther than any other spaceships have gone before. A curious man made of star stuff launched a spacecraft on an adventure to explore beyond our neighborhood of planets. As the voyagers continue their journey into interstellar space, they are carried by the imagination of a boy named Carl. Wowee. The end.